Okay, blessings to everybody. Let me have uh, everybody on, as you're joining on. Share me on Facebook. Share me on Facebook. Those of you are, y'all still share me on Twitter. Thank you so much, everybody. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. I have so much wisdom on my heart. It's almost overwhelming. Saint, sometimes, let me, let me just say it like this. There's something that happens. It's like your heart is exploding with God thoughts. It's almost to the degree like if you don't speak, you'll explode. Jeremiah said in, I think Jeremiah chapter 20. Yeah, it was chapter 20. He said that thy word was like fire shut up in my bones. I think Jeremiah chapter 20, verse eight and nine. I have so much wisdom inside of me and I want you to catch my words and apply it to your life and let it just build you up. Let it strengthen you. Because inspiration is a mantle that God gives you to accomplish your next instruction. Motivation is a mantle for God to achieve his goals through you. Motivation is a mantle for God to achieve his goals through you. Worship is the exchange for God's thoughts. Worship is the exchange for God's thoughts. Wickedness is the exchange for Satan's thoughts. Think about this. Wickedness is a place of worship. But to the wrong avenue. Imagine you can do something divine. But the soil in which you invest what is divine is the wrong soil. Wickedness is the exchange for Satan's thoughts. Worship is the exchange for God's thoughts. Patience is your respect for God's direction. Patience is your respect for God's wisdom. Patience is your respect for God's instruction. Patience is a revelation of your flaw without divine presence. Did you catch that last one? Patience is a revelation of your flaws without divine presence. Patience is yielding. Faith is shielding. Praying in the spirit is building. How I many of y'all caught that? You got to have a Lamborghini eardrum. I need you to have a Lamborghini eardrum. Patience is yielding. Faith is shielding. Praying in the spirit is building. An evil eye creates anxiety. Why does a child want to leave the store? Because the child has an evil eye. If the child was submissive, the child will wait on you as the parent to tell them, hey, it's time to go. But the child want to leave the store because of an evil eye. An evil eye creates anxiety. Why do people pray to leave workplaces or pray to leave cities or pray to leave jobs or pray to leave whatever, Makdiwa. Because an evil eye creates anxiety. A spider is a revelation of deceit. 
I'm all over the place, but this is Ecclesiastes wisdom. A spider is a revelation of deceit. Have you ever had a dream of a spider? It's a revelation of deceit. If you ever see a spider in your sleep, it means that there's somebody in your life that their words don't match their true heart. It's a person of false promises. It's a person that creates drama in your life. It's a person that brings people and causes confusion against your life. This morning, I, I stepped into the spirit realm. And when I was in the spirit realm, I killed gigantic spiders, very big in stature. Because there are spirits in the satanic kingdom. I actually stepped on one's head. I wasn't scared of them. They scared of me. I'm the gangster of, 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 of the anointing. I'm the king of the glory. And they're very big in stature and very ugly. But I crush one in the head. Discern the mind of Goliath. Goliath is scared of David. Imagine how David stepped into the mind of Goliath. You never thought about that, did you? David stepped into his psyche. God has a very scary side to him. There's a side of God that's that's very scary. I don't step on that side at all. I function in that side. Yes, I do. An evil eye creates anxiety. An evil eye creates inaccurate observation. An evil eye destroys your passion to serve. An evil eye creates a stagnation in your obedience. A evil eye creates your fatigue. An evil eye encourages your offenses. An evil eye chases you from your divine assignment. You're taking notes, write that down. An evil eye chases you from your divine assignment. If somebody could, uh, somebody translate me tonight or transcribe me tonight and watch how the Holy Ghost going to hit you while you're transcribing me. I want you to take your time or, or you can do it tomorrow, but transcribe what I'm saying in this broadcast, not word for word verbatim, but you know my hit list when I'm hitting and watch how the Holy Spirit come upon you while you write it. Words I speak to your spirit in life. I'll be on here for like three more minutes. Loyalty is dominion over a snake. Love is dominion over weariness. Weariness is your faith in a satanic option. Weariness is your faith in a satanic option. Sickness is the receptivity of demonic presence. That's why your soul can get sick. Your body don't have to be Sick, your soul can get sick. Sickness is the receptivity of, of a demonic, of demonic presence, of demonic atmosphere. 
Your soul sickness is way bigger than physical sickness. Impatience is the hatred for authority. Because if God ever sent authority to your life, you got to learn how to wait. Impatience is the hatred for authority. Impatience is the hatred for correction. Think about this. Whenever you're impatient, you don't want to be corrected. You don't want to yield or you don't want to submit nowhere. The unrestrained do not maintain the favor that been given to them. The unrestrained do not maintain the favor that is given to them. Wisdom is your hatred for rebellion. And rebellion is your hatred for wisdom. Wisdom is your hatred for rebellion and rebellion is your hatred for wisdom. Lust, it produces conditional servanthood. Love produces eternal loyalty. Lust produces conditional servanthood. Love produces eternal loyalty. Praise is dominion over your atmosphere. Attitude is dominion over your excellence. Excellence is dominion over your promotion. Promotion is your dominion over your generosity. Because when you get promoted, you're in a position to show generosity to people. Generosity is your dominion over double-mindedness. Have you ever studied generous people? Generous people are not shaky. They're consistent. If you ever meet a generous woman or a generous man, you'll confide in them. Because generosity is a characteristic of the loyal. Generosity is something that you only can carry if you're led by the Holy Spirit, study a generous person. They're very consistent because generosity is fuel. Generosity is all. Generosity is the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Generosity is the velocity of God in your attitude, in your character. Generosity destroys jealousy. An act of kindness can destroy a mind of blindness. I need five people to share this broadcast. I need five people to share this broadcast. I need five people to share this broadcast. Share, share me on, on Facebook. Five people to share this broadcast. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Marco robo seke maka rapa karana. Nere mandele vos colo vosia. Rapa sor romondi acaramande leves. Vere de curumonti acarama. An act of kindness can destroy a mind of blindness. An evil eye is where you become a student in Satan's classroom. An evil eye. An evil eye is where you become a student in Satan's classroom. An evil eye is where you become the protege of a demon. An evil eye is satanic mentorship.
An evil eye is a corrupt perspective. Is a corrupt perspective. An evil eye is a corrupt perspective. An evil eye is the fruit of bad seeds. An evil eye is the harvest for disrespecting mind management. The mantles for your mind, not casting down vain imagination. An evil eye is the functionality of a lazy mind, which produces a crazy mind. A lazy mind births a crazy mind. A lazy mind births a crazy mind. All struggles is connected to your disrespect of a mantle. All weakness is connected to your disrespect of divine knowledge. The knowledge that you ignore is the knowledge that you can't explore. The, not, the divine knowledge that you don't explore creates your own war. Foolishness is isolation from the wise. If the Bible say he that walk with wise men shall become wise, how about he that don't walk with wise men. I feel bad for some of you ladies out there. If you with a man that don't serve God, you got AIDS. is the impartation of cooties. Cooties <laughs> is the impartation. Cooties is the impartation of dissatisfaction. Hunger creates your attentiveness. Hunger delivers you from the lukewarm. Hunger delivers you from the lukewarm. Hunger delivers you from the lukewarm. Hunger delivers you from the stagnant. Hunger creates the activity of angels. Whenever you're hungry, God is preparing your food. Whenever you're lukewarm, God is preparing your food for somebody else. How many orders never got to the person in line? Oh, Jesus. How many orders never got to the person in line? Uh, ma'am, I would like a Big Mac. I would like a big and nasty, you know, a cheeseburger on the side. And I want, I want to throw it around in a circle fries. And I want, you don't want no nan nan nuggets. I want to, what kind of nuggets you want? How much you want? Five. You can't read, lady? Y'all only got five on the menu. Well, how you, how you going to ask me? How you going to ask me how much I want? You only got five on the menu. Is that all you want? I'll let you know when that's all I want. Don't you see me still talking? Who raised you? He says the lady up there, she won't let you be yourself. I want five uh, McDoubles and in, in, in five Mighty Ducks of Fruit Punch. Is that all that you want? I want five Mighty Ducks of Fruit Punch. I want, want no nan nan nuggets. Is that all you want? If, if that's all I want, I'd stop talking. I need two drip so hard waters, aquafinas. <laughs> I 
order stops accidents. If you're taking notes, write that down. Order stops accidents. Order stops destruction. Order. Saints, I was driving on a, a well, yeah, I was driving on a, a, a certain road, and the road, it has police officers. And there was a big old, a big old plump lady. She had looked like, uh, what she had looked like, whoop, there was. She had looked like Monique. It's the Parkers. It looked like the Parkers. And, and the other day, she came out blowing her whistle. <laughs> Uh, that she came out blowing the whistle. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so I was informed that the reason why she's directing the road because there have been many accidents on that specific road. And then the Lord spoke to me and told me that she's creating order. Order stops accidents. Order stops wrecks. The reckless always end up on God's checklist for judgment. Order stops wars. Order imparts wisdom when your feelings is imparting foolishness. Order is protection from a satanic plot against you. Saints, it's, it's very hard to work for Satan because you're working for him, but he's working against you. Think about that, man. You're working for Satan and he's working against you. That's some trifling stuff. You want to serve him? My daughter, listen, thank you. <laughs> hey, Macy, Macy been set free. She had an anniversary and everything being set free. And, and Macy brought me. Now, I was, I was going to put it on, but I can't put it on because then. Never mind. <clears throat> but she bought me a, a mighty <laughs> Versace. Got me feeling like Lil Boosie. She bought me a mighty Versace. <laughs> Might me bought me a, a I got I got I got first dibs. Bought me a mighty Versace. The Versace box was so big that I was trying to Hold it up. It was a Magnum Versace bag. Uh, not, 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 not a bag, but it was a, it was a, it was a magnitudinous. It was a magnitudinous box. You feel like little Boosie. Laughter is how God delivers you from a wrong memory. Laughter is how God sets you free from revenge. Laughter is how God delivers you from the current feelings. Laughter is how God heals your pain. Laughter is the medicine for sin. Laughter changes your, your desire for a temptation. Laughter empowers you to continue in the season that you're in. Laughter creates the excellence to a divine instruction. Laughter restores your soul from damage. Every time you're laughing, you're grasping divine mysteries. Every time you're laughing, you're grasping divine mysteries. So laughter is hands in the spirit. Jesus often laughed when he was on the earth. He made the disciples laugh. Saints, there was many people that laughed 
off of Jesus when he was on the earth. His character was charismatic. His joy was impeccable. His laughter would roar throughout Jerusalem. He was a creator of joy. The person that creates your joy is the person that creates your productivity. The person that gives you wisdom is the person that gives you eternal life. Because wisdom is the pathway of obeying God and fearing God, doing everything that he wants you to do. The fear of God increases your response times. The fear of God increases the way that you talk in response to a man of God. The fear of God gives excellency to your vocabulary. The fear of God destroys stagnation. Procrastination is the enemy of the fear of God and the fear of God is the enemy of procrastination. The fear of God subdues the Jonah reaction. Write that down. The fear of God subdues the Jonah reaction. The fear of God subdues the Jonah reaction. Jonah said I wasn't going to go. The fear of God subdues the Jonah reaction. The fear of God births the Job endurance. The Job endurance. The Job endurance. I wonder when Job's wife said curse God and die. I wonder if they slept together that night. What you think? What you think? <laughs> Job said, listen, I'm going to give you five more hours. By the time, the Bible said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. I'm going to give you about five more hours. <laughs> I, now, I heard you, Cletus, but I'm going to give you five more hours. The sun said, do not to go down on your wrath. That's what it said. So I'm going to let it go. Do you think that Job, do you think that Job and, and, and her had a sex life after that because she told him to curse God and die? Do you think that he waved past what she said and said, listen, listen the Bible say not to let the sun go down on your wrath. So I'm a, I heard what you said, but <laughs> looking backwards is your reach for demonic presence. Looking backwards is your reach for demonic presence. Looking backwards is your love for bondage. Looking backwards is your desire for deception. Looking backwards is your love for struggle. Looking backwards is your passion for weakness. Looking backwards is your desire for hell. A bad habit is empowered by a bad company. You take your notes, write that down. A bad habit is empowered by a bad company. Always remember that. A bad habit is empowered by bad company. If you ignore if you if you ignore instructions, then you choose to explore destruction. I want you to remember that statement. If you ignore instructions, you're choosing to explore destruction. Destruction is the friend of the distracted. Destruction is the friend of the distracted. 
Destruction is the kin, is the kin of the unrestrained. Destruction is magnetized by rebellion. Rebellion is my hatred for prophetic instructions. Doubt is my dishonor of prophecy. Every time you doubt, you're dishonoring prophecy. Is your dishonoring of prophecy. Because faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So if I doubt, that means that I, I refuse to believe what I heard. Think about that. Think about that. 